Good morning students. I am Dr. Ritika, the faculty of CSA department as an associate professor in St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management. Today, I am going to deliver the lecture on the subject software engineering and today we will cover the topic of software matrices, measurements and Halstead software sciences. We will cover in these three topics in our slide. So let's start about what is software matrices and what is software measurements. So some basic terminology we will cover in our slide is first is measure. Measure is a quantitative indications of the extent, amount, dimensions or size of some attributes of a product or a process. You can say number of errors. In matrices, matrices is the degree to which a system component or process processes a given attributes. So it relatives several measures like average number of error found per person hour. Indicators. A indicator is a metric or combination of matrix that provides insight into the software process a software product or the product itself. Direct matrices. Immediately measurable attributes are considered to be the direct at matrix. Next, indirect matrices. Indirect matrices means aspects that are not immediately quantifiable. You can say quantity, reliability, functionality, uh, all are related to the example of our indirect matrices. Now next is the measurement. So measurement is the process by which number or symbols are assigned <coughs> to the attribute of the entities in the real world in such a way as to define them accordingly to clearly define rules. Now next is the faults. Faults to be considered as error and defects. Now, errors are faults found by the developers during software development and defects are the faults found by the customer after released. Now, next are the definitions of measure. Measure define the quantitative indications of the extent amount, dimensions, capacity or size of some attributes of a product or process. Measurement. The act of determining a measure is known as measurement. Matrices. A quantitative measure of the degree to which a system component or process processes a given attribute is known as matrices. Indicator. An indicator is a matrix or combination of matrices that provide insight into the software process, a software project or the product itself. So these are the definitions related to our software matrices measurements. Next is the measurement. It is a fundamental to any engineering discipline. Software matrices is a broad range of measurements of computer software. Software process is a measurement that can be applied to improve it on a continuous basis. Some software product as defined as measurement that can be applied in estimation, quality control, productivity assessments and project control. So we can say measurement can be used by software engineers in decision making. Why measure softwares? Establish baselines for comparisons with future assessments to evaluate the status with respect to plans, predict qual qualities of a product or a process by gaining understanding of relationship among process and product. And last is uh, improve product quality and process performance by identifying 
road blocks and inefficiencies so these are the basic concept related to our major why major software to be used now next is the a good manager measures here is the measurement which is based on product and process after measuring what we will find out the output in the form of process matrices project matrices and product matrices so it is the way a manager can measure process and product in the form of different different matrices like process matrices project matrices and last is the product matrices now next why do we measure so answer the question is why do we measure so the answer is first to indicate the quality of the product to access the productivity of the people who produce the product to form a baseline for estimation to help justify request for new tools or additional training and the last is to access to assess the benefits derived from new software engineering methods and tools so these are the answers these are the some related scenarios which is related to our why do we measures now type of software measurement it can can be classified into two types direct measures and indirect measure indirect measure you can easy to collect for example you can say line of code some cost some efforts execution speed memory size some defects can be easily measured now in the in, in indirect more difficulty to assess and can be measured indirectly only so quality functionality complexity reliability efficiency and last is the maintainability are all are related to our indirect measures now matrix guidelines to use common sense and organization sensitivity when interpreting matrices data it provides regular feedback to the individuals and teams who collect measures and matrices so don't use matrices to appraise individual work with practitioners and teams to set go clear goals and matrices that will be used to achieve them though mat so matrices data that indicates a problem area should not be considered negative so these data are merely an indicator for process improvement that never use matrices to threaten individuals or teams so do not obsess on a single matrices to the exclusions of the other important matrices so these are just guidelines related to our software matrices now first is the product matrices the product matrices helps the software engineer gain insight into the design and construct of the software they build by focusing on specific and measurable attributes of the work product so these matrices examine the requirement models with the intent of predicting the size and complexity of the result system so these are the product matrices next is the function oriented matrices that is fp function point matrices can be used effectively as means of measuring the functionality that is derived by a software so it can be used as first estimate the cost or effort required to design code and test the software second predict the number of errors that will be encountered during testing and last is a forecast the number of components in the system so it is related to our functional oriented matrices and function point so type of matrices we have already covered process matrices product matrices and project are the three basic type of our matrices so let's start about 
one by one once again some product matrices i have cleared but still it's a it is a part of our type of matrices so first is the type of matrices first is the process matrices the process matrices are major of the software development process such as overall development time and type of methodology used so they are collected across all projects and over long period of time so they intend is to provide indicator that leads to long term software process improvements next process matrices and software process improvements to improve any process the relational way is major specific attributes of the process derive meaningful matrices from these attributes use these matrices to provide indicators and the indicators leads to a strategy for improvement so these are the process matrices and you can say some software process improvements a factor affecting the software quality here you can see product people technology which is related to the pros part of process so how product related with technology with the help of their business conditions how technology related to the people with the help of development environment and how people can interact with product with the help of customer characteristics and the overall process is to be done across the process now how to measure effectiveness of a software process we can measure the effectiveness of software process indirectly that can be derive a set of matrices which is based on the outcomes that can be derived from the processes so the outcome comes that it include first errors uncovered before release of the software defects delivered to and reported by end users work products delivered or you can say productivity human effort expanded calendar time expanded and conformance to schedule are the some outcomes to measure the effectiveness of the software processes project matrices the project matrices are the measure of software project and are used to monitor and control the project so they are enable a software project manager to minimize the development time by making the adjustments that are necessary to avoid delay and potential problem and risk second access product quality on an ongoing basis and also modify the technical approach to improve quality now used in estimation techniques and other technical work work also so project matrices is a collection from past project that are used as the basics from which efforts and time estimation are made from current software projects as a project proceed actual value of human effort and time to be expanded are compared to the original estimations so we can say the data is used by the project manager to monitor and control the project product matrices is measured of the software products at any stage of its development from requirements to install system so they can measure the complexity of the software design the size of the final program and the number of pages of documentation produced normalization of matrices so to answer we need to answer these questions we need to know the size and complexity of the product but if we normalize the measures it is possible to compare the two products or you can say two projects for normalization we will use two ways to calculating it as size oriented matrices and second is the function oriented matrices 
here is the size oriented matrices which is based on the size of the software product so here you can see project a b effort per person are mentioned 2462 cost they have calculated a line of code that will be used during coding kilo line of codes we will estimate it how much pages documentation required error approximately 2986 and peoples are required 3 and 5 so how we can estimate the size of the software product so from the above data simple size orientation matrices can be developed for each product that are errors per kloc per kloc page of documentation error per person per month line per person per month so we can calculate the size of estimation so they contain some advantages and disadvantages advantages include that can be easily counted and some software estimations models use loc and kloc as an input and then and in disadvantages we can say the measures are languages dependent and programmer dependent so they are use in estimation require a lot of detail which can be difficult to achieve so useful for project with similar environments function oriented matrices which is based on the functionality of the delivered by the software so it is measured indirectly using a measures called function point so function point is derived using an empirical relationship that is based on countable measures of software and assessments of software complexity now next is the halstead software science so halstead software science is an analytic, analytical estimation method that is based on a scientific basics to so start with few simple assumptions about product halstead used few primitive program parameters to develop expressions like overall program length potential minimum volume and program level actual volume efforts development time so some important keywords we will use here are that why we will use in our functions like uh, during the coding sections we will use some statements some operators some parameter pairing some a begin or end pair of block of statements some if else and of if else if then else statements do while statement some statement terminators we will use some operators we will use some pointers we will use so these are the some general symbols or functions that represent our coding functionality some operands in generally operands we will use like subroutine declaration variable declaration variables and constant that are used with operators in an in an form of an expressions which can measure the quality to which an operator is applied so let's take an example like here a is equal to b and here operands are ab and operators are ampersand b here function a and b where operator are function which uses like this symbol and bracket and operands are use a and b in third line int function int a and int b and then is these are the line of codes which we will mention so operator we will use here are brackets so what is halstead size software sciences means some they will take some given program above mentioned program how it will calculate like n1 n2 they are the unique parameters used in a program capital n and capital n2 which can define the total parameter used in a program and n2 define the total operands used in a program now length and vocabulary program length to be identify capital n is equal to n1 plus n2 and the that can note that provide the notation 
which agree with our understanding of the total length of the program as total count of token tokens include operators and operands also now in small n that is included by n1 plus n2 which will calculate program vocabulary in program volume which is defined by v which is the minimum number of bits needed to encode the program so program vocabulary and length depends on the programming style so different lengths of program corresponding to the same problem when different language are used if we need to express the program length by taking the programming language to be considered so we will calculate with program volume with v so here are the program value volume means minimum number of bits need to encode the program the program value is equal to n log 2 small n where small n represent the number of tokens to be needed on log 2 and per bit so it represent eight operands we need three bits so for a program capital n length we need n log 2 and bits so program volume that is v represent the size of the program by approximately compensating the effects of the programming language that are used during the calculation methodologies some potential program volume v star that is the most concise program in which the problem can be coded so it require at least two operators and one is equal to 2 and require number of operand which is and 2 example function which v star that is potential program volume to be calculated is equal to 2 two operators plus and 2 that are the operands log 2 2 plus 2 is the operators plus and 2 is the operand so program length is defined by v star by v that is the potential program volume by program volume so program level gives an indication of the language level of attributes higher l higher l higher the language is easy to program for example we can say assembly vs dot c hash so these are the way how you can calculate the potential program volume some efforts and time how you will calculate to obtain need efforts we divide the program volume or you can say size on program level level means complexity so we will classify the program into size and complexity and effort an effort is equal to is equal to v slash l that is v oblique v slash so the programmer time needed to finish the program that is mentioned by t is equal to e by s where s is the speed of dimensional discrimination so s is recommended is 18 estimation of length all the program length can be estimated easily using the previous discuss equation that is capital n is equal to n1 plus n2 it can be done before starting the programming activities and we can calculate the length depending on the unique numbers of operands and operators now what is the helstand assumptions which are based on small n capital n k and we can say program are unlikely to have several indication parts that are jo greater than n it also identical part are usually made into processors and functions if any program of length n consist of n by n that is unique string that is length of n for an alphabet of size k their k is the strings of length r so you can here can easily calculate 
capital N n1 log 2 n1 plus n2 log 2 n2 so this method this formula which represent the experimental evidence shows that the actual and the computed values are very close the result may be inaccurate when dealing with small program or subsystem individually so we have what we have covered in the helsons like unique operator mentioned by n1 unique operand n2 total operators capital n1 total operands capital n2 program vocabulary n is equal to n1 plus n2 program length capital n is equal to n1 plus n2 program volume n log 2n efforts is equal to v by l time is equal to e by s estimation length is equal to capital n n1 log 2 n1 plus n2 log 2 2 n2 estimated efforts e is equal to v multiply by n1 oblique n2 and capital n2 by 2 so these are the formulae we have covered in our helson software matrices here are the some examples like here is the program i have mentioned about the average to find the average of a number so mean we have assigned value scan average formula i have applied and print the average number so let's apply the helson's matrices software matrices in this given example so the unique operators are mean bracket int scanf and and the these are the our unique operators some unique operands are abc ampersand abc a plus b plus c average and 3 percent d percent d average is equal to so to calculate the average n1 is equal to l2 n2 is equal to 11 that is after applying this formula of log 212 we will find 81 and after applying the programming value you will calculating the formula capital n log 2 n that is 81 we have mentioned n here 81 log 2 and n is our 23 so after applying or calculating the formula we will get 366 so student it is all about how health and software science or matrices work i have explained with this example also i hope you have cleared how to apply the example how to apply the efforts and time how to calculate estimation of length how to calculate potential program value and how easily you can count length and vocabulary of a program how to calculate capital v that is the program value so it is all about our software matrices measurement and health health state software matrices so according to the examination point of view software matrices software measurements and helsin's software matrices both three of them are very important topics due to your examination point of view so student it is all about how to calculate the formula which is based on the program value length vocabulary how number of operands you will use during coding number of operators you will use coding you can easily calculate the total parameter to be used during the programming or software design number how much operators and operands you will use you can easily calculate easily calculate the program vocabulary some potential vol program volume some potential program volume you can easily applying the formula and you can easily calculate it very well after calculating the program volume operator operands efforts and time you can easily calculate if you will find out the if you will find out all the things like efforts operands operators parameters some some symbols you will use in a programming coding so you can easily calculate each and everything for applying the formula estimation of length you can easily calculate it so students it, it is all about the our software software matrices software measurements and health and software matrices 
so i hope you you can easily understand the example after applying the formula so students thank you thank you very much for your kind attentions